Hey everybody. This is one of the crayfish in my native tank. And I just wanted to talk a little bit more about trying to keep the little darters that I've gotten here alive. I've got two log perch, which is a species of darter. Or I should say it's a type of darter. There are several different species of log perch. I don't know exactly which ones I have, but I'm going to go with that they are probably the common log perch. Makes the most sense. I doubt it's one of the rarer breeds. But they feed on little micro worms and crustaceans that live in the off walks or the surface growth. And this branch right here is a really good example of what I'm talking about. You can see it's much more than just algae. It's all fuzzy and has that dark brown color to it. It's this whole sort of soup worth of growth. It's a colony of all kinds of different stuff growing in there. It's not just algae. And I'm afraid that there's not really enough of that to sustain these little log perch in here. I was thinking about doing uh, chemiclean treatment on this tank. You can see I've got a few spots of that uh, bright green cyanobacteria. I pointed this out the other day. You can even see a little bit of it growing on the rock right there. You can see a little bit of it growing on the woodwork here. And so there is, you know, reason to get in here and try to do a little bit of cleaning with the chemiclean. I'm just afraid that if I do that, it will actually kill off all of the stuff that houses the little micro crustaceans and everything that those uh, log perch need to eat. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works. The ChemiClean does not kill off your nitrifying bacteria, and it doesn't kill off any kind of algae. It shouldn't kill off anything like worms or crustaceans uh, or anything like that. It really should only kill off bacteria. And at that, it doesn't kill off your beneficial bacteria. So I don't know exactly how it works, but I can show you this. We get to my 125-gallon uh, tank here, and this tank has undergone a treatment of ChemiClean. And if you look at the off walks on this rock here, that is exactly what I'm talking about. You'll see how dead everything is. That's ready to either just be sort of brushed away or the plecos that are in this tank will come along and scrape that off of there and eat it. But that is more or less dead. That'll be clean rock underneath of it. So how the ChemiClean wipes out all of that kind of growth, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Um, you can see it on this piece of wood too. This had stuff growing all over it. And now, with just a gentle brushing, we could kind of strip it back down to bare wood. This rock here is another example. You can see where a lot of that stuff's been killed off. Now, I'll grant you, that's got that a uh, little bit of that hint of that purple color to it. So that probably had a lot more cyanobacteria mixed in with it. We come over here, and you can see that green stuff is the hair algae. That is not the cyanobacteria. That is that uh, maiden's tresses algae. And that does not get killed off. You can see it's growing on the root tips there. That's also that algae. The dead brown looking stuff is what I'm talking about. The ChemiClean kills that off and gets your tank looking great again. Give you another example of that. Maiden's Tresses hair algae. It's really, really beautiful stuff from a certain point of view. But it's also... You know, not many people want that growing in their aquarium because that is kind of problematic algae, but it's absolutely beautiful algae. So all of that gets left alone. It doesn't kill beneficial bacteria and it doesn't kill fauna, whether that's your fish or if you've got uh, snails or whatever. So if it's not killing that kind of stuff, I don't see why it would kill all of the little, you know, the, the micro crustaceans and all the stuff that grow in there. But it does clean that stuff off. It does kill that. So I'm really afraid that if I do a treatment on this tank, it's going to wipe all that stuff out and clean this tank to the point where there won't be anything left for the um, little log perch to, to feed on. I'm still trying desperately to actually see one. And they don't come out very often when they do. They don't stay out very often. They're very active little fish that keep moving around and looking for food. And the other day I was watching one, and it was on this piece of wood right here. And it was, like, 
darting at it like it was grabbing stuff and then it swam away so i don't know if it was just desperately looking for stuff or if it was actually finding little things to nibble on uh, i think there he is right there So they don't swim very well at all. I've definitely picked up on that. They are sort of awkward swimmers and they do a lot of little hopping like that. They'll swim an inch or two and then they'll stop again. They'll swim an inch or two and then they'll stop again. Sorry for not getting this tank clean. This is a very spur of the moment video as most of my videos usually are. I actually don't really even have time to be doing this but I've been thinking about this today and I wanted to talk about it and get it on video while I was in here so I don't know we're definitely going to get the tank cleaned up with the glass wiped down I need to do another filter change you can see the filters barely running water through it again the water levels getting low so we'll probably be doing a water change on this tank soon and I'm just not sure what to do uh, about these log perch of course now we're going to get all the glare from the light He's right in there somewhere. So you can see where the crayfish come along. And you see how they're using their smaller claws, just sort of feverishly picking away at the surface. That's what they do all day long. They just feed on algae and micro crustaceans they'll eat any dead thing they come across they eat plants the large claws are typically used for either defense or for moving things out of their way you know they'll grab sticks and move them they'll use them to lift up rocks and push stuff out of the way it's those smaller pincers underneath that they do all the little fine fiddly work with and you can see on this piece of wood that we were just looking at you can see how scraped away. That's undoubtedly the work of the crayfish getting up there, pecking away at that and keeping that clean. That rock right there had a lot more stuff growing on it too until I saw the crayfish spending a lot of time on it. So I think they picked that one fairly clean too. So my biggest concern with this tank is that I'm not going to have enough natural stuff growing in it. I've considered going out and maybe getting some more sticks and maybe even some rocks from the stream and just leaving them completely intact, just bringing home everything that's on them, just, you know, making this completely natural. I'd just be a little reluctant to do that. I'm not real good with, like, keeping all my stuff separate. So whatever's in this tank ultimately probably eventually would get in my other tanks too, and I don't necessarily want that. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But I've been thinking about this tank a lot today, and I thought this would be a good example uh, to show you what I'm talking about. I mentioned the other day with, with the, the ChemiClean thing, uh, and now we've got a comparison side by side. You can see what I'm talking about when I say that the ChemiClean will kill off all that stuff. And by the way, it's good stuff. I recommend the ChemiClean. It really does get your tank looking good once you get all that crud and stuff out of there. Even if you don't have uh, cyanobacteria, going on in the tank every now and again just to wipe out all that crud and just get everything nice and cleaned up again i think the chemi clean does a good job at that in fact i just started doing a chemi clean treatment on this tank as you can see all the green that's starting to grow on the woodwork there and i've got some green starting to grow in my java down there uh, the stuff on the glass is probably a little bit of the green side of bacteria, but it is probably mostly just algae growing on the glass. So I'll get in there and wipe that down next time I do a water change or whatever. So there you go. That wound up being more of a little mini update than it did uh, talking about the off walks and the ChemiClean, but there you go. All right, everybody. I just got in from doing yard work. Got to go get my dinner, and then hopefully I'll get in here this evening and we'll get some more stuff done. And tomorrow we'll be able to do maybe the Around the World update or check on some progress that I've made. So make sure you subscribe. You won't miss that or anything else. You never know what I've got coming up. Don't forget this tank here is my 125-gallon tank. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.